Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently just gone 10 o'clock on Monday the 7th of March 2022. I am incredibly anxious. Uh, it's not good, I got the thing going where I'm like lightheaded. I feel like I might pass out a little bit. My head's very... I don't want to complain too much anyway. It is what it is. I'm kind of, you know, living with it. I'm currently reading Deep Down There by Ollie Jacobs. It is quite good. It's about a giant hole that opens up in this gated community called Anton Court. It is an indie novel. It's one I've been looking forward to getting my hands on for a while now. So it is a pleasure to finally be reading it. And I'm just currently editing my radio show that goes out tomorrow. I'm working on some marketing bits for my books because I've done most of my housework. Although I do now have paint to finish painting the uh, fence panels outside. So that's my next job. Dane reads. Hello, hello everybody. It is 20 past nine on Tuesday the 8th of March 2022. My radio show went out earlier without a hitch, so that is always good. That was episode 101. I don't have a guest yet for number 102, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. We'll figure something out. Um, I've got a couple of people that are interested, so and actually I made a note to reach out to someone new, so we've got that. I'm going to do my like top 10 tunes and uh, like a bit of a celebratory one for hitting 100 as well. I finished reading Deep Down There by Ollie Jacobs, it was a 4 out of 5 review coming soon. Very Lovecraftian. Uh, in fact, the company that owns the housing estate is Sutton is called HB Properties, which I don't think is a mistake, uh, like a coincidence, I think that is an allusion to Lovecraft. I'm now reading Eccentric Circles Short Stories Volume 1, edited by Cynthia Brackett Vincent. This is from Encircle Publications, who published the Lightfold stories, and it has a short story of mine in it. And I've been enjoying this so far on course for a 4 out of 5, so always a pleasure to read another decent uh, anthology. Um, had my clean around earlier, so it's nice and clean in here now. I did a bit more painting of the fence panels. I had two calls today. I slept for like four hours last night, so I'm fucking exhausted. I'm going to try and stay awake until midnight um, and then go to bed then, I think. I think that's my plan. Tomorrow I don't have too much planned. I'm going to go to the post office to drop some parcels off. And that's about it. Maybe do some more of that fence panel stuff. And I've been cracking on with some marketing -y bits, some writing bits here and there, just keeping busy. You know how it is. So I think that's all I've got for you. So I'm going to go and crack on with more productivity. Hello, it is me. It is five to nine on Wednesday, the 9th of March. Despite the fact that yesterday I was functioning on like four hours sleep, I still didn't manage to get to bed until, well, I got to bed at like midnight and then didn't fall asleep till about 5 a.m. I can hear Biggie's obviously just taking a shit or a piss because he's kicking his litter everywhere. I gave him some tuna earlier because it was a little treat for him. Jesus fucking Christ. Can you hear that? What's going on down there? What are you doing? Anyway, yeah, so I didn't get... Well, I got like eight hours sleep because I ended up just getting up in the afternoon, but still. I uh, got some compost today, so I've turned my old compost bin into a composter. Um, turned my old recycling bin into a composter um, and turned my old um, greenhouse into like a stand for pots and stuff because they got ruined in the storms. They're not fit for like their previous purpose, but I can still get some use out of them. Um, looking into getting my windows sorted, that's going to be about 600 quid, so fun times for that. Just been looking into a piece of software that I might buy as well, which would cost me $100. I know, Biggie, um, but would allow me to make really nice mock-ups and review templates in my books. Biggie, come up here! Come and say hello to the internet, stop meowing! Um, I went into town to the post office earlier as well. I finished reading Eccentric Circles, edited by Cynthia Brackett Vincent. That was a 4 out of 5 review coming soon. I mean, I say that, I've got like 8 reviews to film. And probably like 20 that are ready to edit. So whether they'll ever come out is anyone's guess. Um, I was just doing my jogging because I do some jogging at home while listening to my audiobook. So I've got a little under two hours of East of Eden by John Steinbeck left. Um, but Duolingo has just gone into maintenance. And I do Duolingo while I'm jogging. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll take that as an excuse to have a break. Which is good because actually my knee was feeling a bit funky as well. Although I have done all right. How many steps am I on? Let's have a look. 9,000 steps today. So that's all right. Um, 
And yeah, after finishing Eccentric Circles, I've just started reading Prey by Michael Crichton. I'm about 50 pages in. It's quite good so far. It's about like nanobots and stuff. Although I've got to be honest, like so far, the nanobots have barely came into it. Mostly so far, it's been a bit of a domestic drama about whether this guy's wife is cheating on him or not. So we'll see. It sounds like she is. She sounds like a right fucking bitch, to be honest. He's better off without her. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm just going to go and crack on, go and do some more work and productivity and she's. Hello, it's me. It's 9pm on, what is it, Thir Thursday the 10th of March 2022. Um, I couldn't sleep last night. I finally fell asleep about 8am um, and woke up at like 4pm. I ate some Doritos dipped in hot salsa and then did a Q&A call with a client. So that was that. I'm still reading Prey by Michael Crichton. Um, I made a decent dent in my bedtime book, which is Lynn Truss, A Shot in the Dark, which is like a, it's meant to be a funny murder mystery, but it's not very funny. Um, so, otherwise I should really like it, but I'm just not really enjoying it, hence it being a bedtime book. But I'm about a third of the way through already, so that's good. Um, I've got two hours left on East of Eden by John Steinbeck, the audiobook, so I might do some more jogs tonight, try and crack on with that, because I listened to it while jogging. I had to stop yesterday because my knee started to seize up. Um, there's Biggie in the background. Hey, cat. Uh, what else is new? I've got some more plants in the post today, so I've got to plant those in a bit. I'm going to make a stir fry in a little bit as well, so I eat some improper. Next up, I'm probably going to read The Tin Woodman of Oz by L. Frank Baum, even though I'm not due to start it until next week. Just because it's a short book. I'm currently on 15 reading. So if I tick Crichton off, 14. Tin Woodman, 13. And then I can realistically do East of Eden as well, which would put me on to 12. So my goal is to get below 10. And I've been sitting between 10 and 20 for months now. Um, and it doesn't help because I constantly, I've currently got my system in place where I've got constantly got another book on order. So I'm currently waiting for an asterisk book in French to arrive, um, which that'll be fine because it'll be a bedtime book. I can actually read it in one evening if I'm feeling up to it, especially if I can't sleep. And if I read The Tin Woodman, then my next one will be another Oz book, which is short. So if I keep buying short books, I can still keep cutting that number down. Um, but at some point, I also need to buy the next June book. So that's, that's going to set us back because that'll be like 700 pages. That's about all I got for you. I'm going to do some filming and some editing. I uh, edited my shout outs yesterday. I've been doing some more stuff on TikTok. I've been doing some more promos for my books as well. So I bought this new software that allows me to make pretty cool mock ups. So that's currently where I'm at. I'm going to go do more filming. Hello, everybody. It is vlog time. It is currently uh, about 25 past five on Saturday, the 12th of March. Um, I was up. I went to bed early at like 6 p.m. yesterday. I basically I had some deadlines that I had to meet, so I bust, busted a gut to hit those deadlines. And then we passed out at 6 p.m. Woke up about 1 a.m. Worked for most of the night. Then slept from about 7 a.m. till noon. Um, and then got up and had a radio call uh, with my friend Claire. She used to be a presenter on Wickham Sound. She's since moved on. Um, but she has a new radio show and she wanted to chat books with me, so I went and went and did that. So that was fun. I've also been out in the garden today, uh, as you can see from paint on my hands. I've finished painting the fence. So there are two fences, there's the one on the left and the one on the right. The one on the right is the one that as you go into the property, um, so I painted that one. The one on the left, I need to get the permission of the guy who lives next door to do that, although I'm sure it'll be fine because, I mean, I've let him use my Wi-Fi password and stuff. Um, there's also three panels blown out of that from the storm that we still need to fix. So I'm going to ring him later and be like, we need to fix those panels. Also, can I paint it, please? And if he says yes, then I need to order more paint because I, I used the last of the paint on the other fence. But that's still a good job well done. Um, this evening, I'm mostly I'm going to be doing some filming and some editing, uh, as you do. Cracking on with some work. I'm going to make a curry in a little bit as well with my own... Um, onion salad which is delicious um, I've also got some some plant pots arrived which is good because I was out of plant pots um, and some new things to plant have also arrived so I'm gonna go and investigate those in a bit because I can do those quickly before it gets dark um, so that's my main plan there and then just a few bits of housework and whatnot some writing bits uh, some computery bits I've got a virtual assistant now who's working on some blogger outreach for me so that's very cool but I need to um, like make sure I give her all the briefing stuff so she's got enough to be getting on with now but I also have more to send over to her so I'll be doing that soon 
Um, I finished reading The Tin Woodman of Oz by L. Frank Baum. That was like a strong 3.5 out of 5. Uh, this is the first of the Oz books where it actually suits the name, so it mostly follows Nick Chopper, who is the Tin Woodman. Uh, basically, he fell in love with a girl before he got turned to tin. And he has no heart now, so he doesn't like know how to love, but he, he feels duty bound to go and you know see if she still wants to marry him just in case. So uh, we kind of follow him as he as he goes off to do that. Um, so yeah, that was good, and, and all the main Oz characters are in it, but it didn't feel like a cop out. So that's two Oz books in a row now where I have actually enjoyed them. Um, and I'm currently reading Bosch How to Live Vegan, Save the Planet and Feel Amazing by Henry Firth and Ian Thiesby. Um, they're the guys behind Bosch, which is a YouTube channel which does great vegan recipes. You should check it out, they're great. Um, and this is basically their guide on how to go vegan. It covers everything from where you get your protein to like common responses to common questions, what to look out for. So like looking out for milk products in uh, crisps and stuff like that because a lot of companies add milk powder. And yeah, it's really good. It's really well done. Very informative, very easy to read. And it's laid out nicely as well. So you kind of whiz through it. Um, so yeah, I would recommend that. And that's a four out of five from me. So I'm going to go and do some more work now. I am getting, I'm getting almost towards the shakes from not eating. I have had like this entire bag of, or most of this bag of uh, rice cakes. Because I've just been snacking on those throughout the day because I've been focusing on painting. And it, I didn't want to take a break from painting to make food. Because I wanted to finish the painting while it was still light outside. Which I have now done. So as I say, the next job is to quickly pot those plants which should only take five minutes and then make my dinner. I might even start cooking my dinner and then pot the plants while dinner's cooking. Uh, I think that might might be a pretty good idea, so, so we'll see. Hello, it's me. It is currently five past 10 on Sunday the 13th of March. I'm actually super tired. I might not be up too much later, we'll see. Um, but that's crazy because I slept for most of last night as well. I slept from like 4 a.m. to about 4 p.m. But I do tend to sleep a lot more on the, on the weekends because I guess I, I'm like catching up and all of that stuff. Caught up with some work as well, so that's all good. Um, my current reading is now down to 12. Um, I finished reading East of Eden by John Steinbeck, the audiobook I was listening to. So that was like a, probably a 4 out of 5, um, 26, 27 hour long audiobook. And I did all of it while jogging, so that took a good old stretch. Um, I finished reading The Tim Woodman of Oz by L. Frank Baum, which was a strong 3.5 out of 5. Full review of that coming soon. Um, but I enjoyed it. I thought it brought back a lot of the old Oz magic. And I finished reading uh, How to Leave, uh, Bosch How to Live Vegan by Henry Firth and Ian Thiesby. That was a 4 out of 5. Great little guide to uh, veganism. Lots of good stuff in there. It would be great for a first time vegan. I myself already knew a lot of the stuff that I read, but it's you know it doesn't hurt to get a refresher, so that was pretty cool. Um, and I'm now reading Richard Osman, The Thursday Club Murder. So I'm about 80 pages in, which I guess is about 20%. Um, and it's okay so far. Um, it took me a little while to get into the writing style because it's one of those where he's trying to be funny during it and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But um, yeah, enjoyed that, or enjoying that, should I say. And then after that, I guess I'm going to read State of Fear by Michael Crichton. Uh, this afternoon I went to meet my friend Sabrina uh, at the Chilton Taps, so I was going to have a coffee and she was going to have some beers, but their coffee machine wasn't working so I just had a couple of lemonades. Uh, we played a fun little card game about cats, and uh, we played a game, a couple of games of pool as well. And then we came back here, we had takeaway food from Veggie Burger, which is a new vegan burger place, so that was quite nice. Um, we watched Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase, and we played some board games and like Uno and Dominoes and stuff as well. So that was good. And now I'm just here trying to stay awake, pretty much. Um, but that seems like a good place to leave this week's vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.